Hello, Assalamu alaikum friends. Welcome back to my new tutorial of our DIA portal. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the SCL language of counter. So in the we are going to design a counter in SCL language. So let's see what uh, I design a counter. So first of all, we uh, need a tag and I name it start. And we need a time input timing which is also we use as a time here in SCL block now I am just minimize that and uh, I am going to set that out and in the down below I am using time out there and I am going to select that as a time so, so we first we need to create there uh, we, we, uh, we need to define some tags in that uh, uh, FC block then we just move our timer so I am just move a timer to show only a single timer I am going to show you because uh, I am just cancel that and type it start is equal to 1 then I am going to paste it there hash which is timing and I am going to paste it there hash out and I am also going to paste it there hash time out now we just compile that block you will see that the our block has been compiled now we need to create tags in there so first of all I am going to add a start and I am going to name it M0.0 .0 there 0 0.0 and uh, out which is M0.1 and uh, time in which is MD4 and we are going to use as a time there and another one which is time out which is our md8 there now i'm just compile that and drag that block to my main ob block now i'm just add a tag time there out there and I am going to enter uh, only if we need to enter a time in we just use time in tag or 5s directly a 5 second time or we need to use that as a time out there so just compile that and start a simulation this I am just only discuss a one timer and only in the next video we are I'm going only discuss a one counter in it because you can create counter by seeing these videos another counter if you want to count down check to time of delay or anything extra so I think our program has been now loaded and now I am going to show that it is working here it is so you will see when I start modify a tag it will start accounting so our counter has now worked and just again to show you there like there I'm going to rename my OB and make it a false 
then I am going to start the modify again to show you here it is you will see that it will count so that's it that's how timer is going to work in SCL language so thank you very much for watch my video please subscribe my channel like my video click the bell icons and comments if you don't understand anything and don't forget in the description I give links of Windows software, SCADA ignition, SCADA factory, IO tutorials as well. So if you want to learn more watch my video and uh, in the description I give me, I give also my contact number so if you want to contact me my whatsapp is there. So thank you very much again for watch my video.